Christmas now just three days away and while this time of year usually brings a lot of joy and celebration for some it actually brings out a lot of other emotions as well like depression and certainly stress. Joining us this midday is BZEN TV host Brittany Madrid Mogensen. Uh, Brittany, I hope I didn't uh, just butcher your name there. Did I get that right? You did great. It's oh. Mogensen, but I, <laughs> I, I didn't appreciate do great it. Then. Mogensen, <laughs> I knew it. Uh, Brittany, thanks for being with us today. Let's talk about what aspects of the holiday season cause the most stress and why that is. Well, according to studies, most Americans report an increase rather than a decrease in what we all know as something that's supposed to be the most exciting, wonderful time of the year. But unfortunately, due to longer work hours, increased spending, and the pressure to make things perfect, people get a little bit stressed out around this time. <laughs> uh, and then on top of that, you throw in all the triggers uh, that we call family members, and uh, now you've got a, kind of a toxic mix in a way. Exactly. We have to grow. We're forced to, to grow. <laughs> so, so how can people practice uh, these popular meditation and mindfulness techniques uh, that uh, the Simplify Be Zen way there? Because I think a lot of people, if you tell them, you know, you just meditate a little bit, I, th I think a lot of people are like, I, I, I don't know how to do that. I can't do that. I, I, I don't right. have the ability. Exactly. It feels overwhelming. It seems like it's something kind of difficult or obscure. So there are some really easy ways to get the proven benefits of mindfulness and meditation practice. One of the easiest ways is like, for example, on a lunch break, de just disconnect from your phone, mm -hmm. disconnect from technology and take a 20 minute walk in nature. Mm -hmm. Take some deep breaths. And believe it or not, that is practicing mindfulness. Mm -hmm. So it's really easy. There's also an app called Calm. It's really good. The Calm app is amazing. You can do guided meditations as short as five minutes long. Hmm. And then I really like, there's an influencer named Anna Grace Newell who has a Patreon where she does guided meditations. I love, I'm subscribed to that Patreon and I love it. You can just listen to a quick meditation, get yourself centered and move on with your day. And I so like it's really, you, really helpful. I, and I like what you say there about pulling up the app pretty quickly or taking a 20 minute walk because, you know, let's face it, if you're around family members and everything's a little overstimulating or they're driving you crazy, uh, 20 minutes, right. nobody's even going to notice if you're gone for 20 minutes or five minutes, 10 minutes. Exactly. You can go run an errand, say, I'm going to go get some more butter or something, you know, and then <laughs> on the way back, park a little down the street, take a walk, clear your head, come back and you'll be in a better mood. <laughs> Blame it on the butter. I like that. Blame uh, it on the butter. Are there any other lifestyle changes that you would recommend that people make at this point? I mean, we're late in the game here if you have holiday stress, but are, are there any suggestions <laughs> you'd make there? Yes, I would. So actually anxiety is something that has been going up for Americans, which we all know why. And one in five Americans have reported having um, increased anxiety and experience an anxiety disorder in the past year. So anxious people tend to be more sedentary and working out has shown to decrease levels of stress, to improve cardiovascular function, and there's a host of other mental health benefits. So if you are not working out and you're feeling stressed, the one thing that you probably don't feel like doing, which is taking a jog or getting on that elliptical machine, that is the one thing that actually can improve your stress levels and help you to experience less anxiety. It floods your body with a lot of feel-good hormones and it just kind of keeps you on track. So that's important and getting at least seven hours of sleep, which I know is difficult for people this time of year because your calendar is more packed than ever. But you gotta do it, you gotta <laughs> take care important. of you first. All right, that exactly. is the advice. Exactly. From, that's the advice today from BZN TV host Brittany Madrid Mogensen with the long O. Yes, Remember perfect. Remember the long O. Remember the long O. There thank, you go. Thank, thank you, you so much. I Here's wishing it. you a very unstressful and uh, happy holiday season. You too, BZN. Thank you. <laughs>